This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, welcome back. So now here. Once again, we are going to continue this ASAP methodology itself. So in previous session we have discussed, I have explained two phases. Now here in this. In this, uh, what to say? Segment I'm going to cover. The remaining three parts, whatever the remaining three phases are there is going to be covered. Before that, I request you all uh, that do not forget to provide uh, your feedback also because I don't like whatever this explanations are there, whether it is interesting or boring that I'll come to know only if you guys are going to provide your feedback. So kindly you provide your valuable feedback also so that because this is going to encourage a lot uh, and this is what like I will also come to know uh, that whatever I'm explaining uh, how much you guys are able to understand and then you know. So do not forget to provide your feedback as well. Now here. Once again, so ASAP methodology. And feedback I'm not saying guys right now itself multiple sessions are there. You just have a look on each and every topic one by one one by one and you see uh, what to say configuration part. Everything is there. You just have a uh, you know look on these all topics you practice try to understand the things which I have explained and then after you can provide your valuable feedback now here. So uh, let me explain about this project phase guys here in project phase what we have discussed project preparations we have already discussed blueprint we have already discussed now we are going to discuss i'm going to explain this uh, realization phase so what is happening in realization phase guys i'll tell you so the purpose of this phase is to implement look at here all the business process or requirements based on the business blueprint in blueprint what is happening guys i have recorded multiple things Right. So now till now, whatever the activities, let's suppose client is saying that I need this one, that one, whatever. So these all these all things we have recorded somewhere in a document. Right now, what is happening guys? It's time to realize those things. Say, for example, there is a, a let's suppose there is a. A project is there related to a bridge construction. OK, or let's suppose a multi storage building constructions. Right. So first of all, before construction of this building, first of all, like first of all, like whoever the constructor is there or whoever the engineer is there is going to decide that okay, this entire building constructions are going to be segregated in certain phase, and in each phase, certain activities are going to be decided that okay, in first phase, the entire whatever the foundation of the building is there is going to be completed. In second phase, remaining like uh, pillaring related activities are like going to be completed in third phase the entire wall constructions are going to happen in fourth phase like doors and window installations electricity active you know works are going to be done right and then in last phase what is happening guys and then, then in next phase again the whatever the paint, paints and everything you may uh, you know are going to be completed and then in last phase what will happen uh, inauguration of the building is going to take place it means the ownership is going to be handed over to all the buyers, right? So in every phase, certain activity, and, and they are going to count for every phase, certain timeline will be there, right? That is going to be counted, and based on that, they are going to promise to the buyers that okay, this is our plan, and we are going to hand over the ownership in two years, in 2.5 years, in three years. Right? So, likewise, here in SAP installations, what is happening, guys? Here also the it is segregated in five phases in each, each and every phase certain activities are there, right? Okay. Now, whatever the building is going to be constructed for that also one blueprint will be there guys. A particular map will be there. Blueprint will be there and based on that itself the construction is going to happen. So likewise here for our implementations also we are having a blueprint. Right, so blueprint is already prepared now based on that we are going to start our configurations in the sense. The customizations. So the purpose of this phase is to implement all the business process or uh, whatever the requirement is there based on the business business blueprint. Business blueprint. OK, so now here what is happening? Multiple activities are going to happen in this phase. The first activity is called configurations. We have to configure SAP. Lots of configurations are going to be done guys. Again, the question is what is this configurations? If you are new, 
if you are freshers beginners then as i told you don't worry configurations means lots of configurations are going to be done and then uh, almost like uh, from enterprise structures onward uh, onwards we are going to do all the configurations only okay so lots of configurations are going to be done as per the client's requirement okay so configuration is going to be we have to configure we have to customize this sap as per client requirement so these configurations are going to be done guys and then what next the next one is unit test and integration test it means testing is also going to be performed okay see for example multiple like if you proceed further then we are having multiple uh, configuration multiple topics are going to be configured like let's suppose i'll just tell you here we are having like app dunning validation substitution these all are different different topic guys which is going to be configured separately and what is these all topic guys that you guys will come to know only if you are going to proceed further once you watch that uh, for app related like app also i have recorded separate lecture on this dunning also separate lecture is there validation substitution for every topic separate lecture is there i will explain how to configure what is this what exactly is going to be configured in this app and dunning and validation substitution separately in details i have explained now here so let's suppose i have configured app how you will come to know this whatever configurations i have done for this app and all is going to work is working fine or not so that you will come to know only if you perform testing so we are going to test so we have to run this app, app automatic payment program so we have to test it right so testing is required for this one we have configured dunning how you will come to know that dunning whichever dunning we have configured is working fine or not so first of all we have to test validation rule i have defined a validation rule how you will come to know that this validation rule is going to is is working fine or not it is going to meet the requirement of the client or not so this one also first of all we have to test it right these all things are going to be tested right so first of all let's suppose i have configured this process number one now i have configured process number two then i have configured process number three and then four so look at here one by one the configurations are happening configuration is happening and one by one what is happening testing is also happening so instead of that i can say unit by unit the configuration is happening and unit by unit the testing is also going to happen guys this is called unit test look at here unit test means first of all what is happening we are going to configure one process and for that we have performed the testing this is unit test i have configured dunning and i have performed the testing this is another unit test i have configured validation and i have performed the testing this is another unit test so look at here unit by unit we are doing the configurations and at the same time unit by unit you have to perform testing also right so configurations process by process we are going to do the configurations and process by process we are performing the testing this testing activity is called unit test hope you guys are able to understand i'll tell you guys if you go and search on google it is whatever the definitions are going to be you know whatever definitions you are going to find it's going to confuse you because why because, why because uh, lots of like they, they are going to give this definitions and all and lots of sophisticated words and sentences will be there and most likely you are going to be confused so here i am quoting a very simple example and with the help of example i am trying to make you people understand this is how you guys will be having because see if you go for the interview if somebody is going to ask the questions so here based on your understanding you can uh, whatever the if you are going to let, let's suppose you have marked up a particular definitions in some if somebody is saying that okay what do you mean by this then every time you are going to quote the same definitions right if you are having a perfect understanding then every time different words you are going to use but the meaning of your entire explanations will be same why because you are having understanding of that particular topic so try to understand the things guys don't try to mug up so here this is called unit test unit by unit configurations unit by unit testing is going to be done that is called unit test now here what next the next one is called 
integration test so there are certain topic guys these all are independently it is going to be done by finance consultant but there are certain process where where what is happening guys where like we need to involve other consultant also say for example there is a process called p2p process that is called procure to pay process so procure to pay process means what is this procure to pay or p2p process case when you have to purchase something let's suppose as an individual simply we are going to visit market and will purchase the things will make the payment immediately but when we talk about b2b procurement b2b means business to business procurement in that case what is happening guys in that case in that case they are going to follow certain process let's suppose po is going to be raised first of all po is going to be raised and this po is going to be sent to the vendor based on vendor uh, based on the po vendor is going to deliver the goods that is called goods receipt along with the goods invoice is also going to be sent to the uh, finance department so this is going to be recorded separately that is called in invoice receipt this p2p process i'll cover guys in upcoming session this is going to be covered so don't worry i'm just giving a overall idea here a very brief explanations i'm going to give invoice receipt is there and then finally what will happen guys payment is going to be released so under p2p process let's suppose how many activities are there guys po creation of po posting goods receipt posting invoice receipt and then finally we are going to post payment so look at here now this is a separate process this is a separate like this is a diff one activity this is another activity this is another activity and this is also another activities for activities now let's suppose so who is going to do the configurations related to po and gr so that is let's suppose is going to be done by mm consultant this is also mm consultant for invoice related related things and payment related things let's suppose the other part of fi so half of the activities are going to be performed by mm and half of the activities are going to be performed by fi okay so look at here guys there is involvement of two module mm and fi right there is involvement of two module right so this process is integrated this is integrated process means it is having like you know associated with other module isn't it so these parts we have to take care and these two parts mm consultant is going to take care so they are going to do the configurations for their part we are going to do the configurations for our part and once it is done then what is happening guys both consultants are going to sit together and they will perform testing so what will happen first of all the po is going to be created by mm goods receipt is going to be posted by him and based on that with reference to po goods receipt is going to be posted and with reference to po again invoice receipt is going to be posted by fi and then finally payment is going to be post it and if it is working fine then what will happen guys in that case this testing we can say that a yeah, successful testing right so now here integration test means what guys integration test means whichever process which is having like involvement of two module two modules it could be like right now i have explained here fi mm right even we are having fi as the integration also right so wherever involvement of two modules are there guys right so that process like p2p the likewise we are having o2c that is called order to cash so then we are having involvement of sd consultant that is also going to be explained in details guys later in upcoming classes okay one by one everything is going to be explained don't worry in upcoming classes so whenever such kind of process is there guys for such kind of process where we are having involvement of two modules right so that is going to be configured at the same time that is going to be tested also this is how i'll come to know that come to know that p2p is working fine or not right so whatever this testing is there whichever testing where there is involvement of two module right this testing is called integration test okay practically if you guys are going to have a look then i think you'll be having perfect idea about this uh, uh, what to say integration testing uh right now i can say theoretically itself because the configuration is not started yet once i start the configurations then later this p2p and o2c topic will come in the sense like this integration uh fi mm integration fisd integration will come into picture and there i'll explain the things in detail 
now here so here in realization phase what is happening guys we have done the configurations and we have to perform testing so testing means unit test and integration test unit test means it is going to be performed by you in the sense alone you can do independently integration test means we are having dependencies on other modules consultant as well right so there will be involvement of other module also in integration test okay so now in realization phase what we have done we have done the configurations and we have performed the testing configurations as per our blueprint we have done the configurations and then what what is there guys then we have performed the testing part also testing is unit test and integration test so once this testing is performed then what happened guys then we are going to move to the next phase that is called final preparation now what happened in final preparations so look at here guys certain activities are going to be performed in final preparations the purpose of this phase is to complete the final preparations like including testing and user training system management cutover activities to finalize your readiness to go live here i'll explain one by one in final preparations what is happening guys certain activities are going to be performed here as well so the next one in final preparations the first activity is going to be done is user acceptance test this is called uat uat and before that what i have covered guys unit test and integration test so in short form it is called ut and it so now look at here guys the, if you talk about the testing it is segregated in three parts ut it and uat ut means unit test it means integration test ut means user acceptance test now here in user acceptance test what is happening the name itself i think it's quite clear with the name user is also going to perform the testing in the sense user who is the user guys from tata motor from tata motor your core team member is also going to perform the testing because till now what we have done guys till now till now uh, it means like we have done the configurations it means you people have done the configurations you have done the configurations right you have performed the testing as well whether it is integration test or unit test integration test also if it is integration test also your team member is involved in integration test right unit test means you have done the unit test and if you are saying that yes everything is fine now everything is okay we have performed the testing and all what do you think that client is going to agree client will never agree until unless they are going to test from their side because ultimately they are the user they are going to make us they are going to make the payment for that right so they will also perform testing from their end to check everything is working fine or not it is there as per their expectations or not so they will also conduct testing that is called uat user acceptance test okay what next guys the next one is called cutover activity what is this cutover activity so this cutover activity is nothing but data migration activity or data upload activity i'll tell you here in, even in previous session in the sense like in the, the beginning i have covered this i have given some small small explanations on this still let's suppose so tata motor is using tally and here we are going to implement sap right so in tally we are having multiple data right this tally means from 2001 onwards they are using tally whereas sap is going to be in 2000 20. so what's been happening guys now in tally they are having multiple data right so this data is supposed to be migrated to sap okay this data is supposed to be migrated to sap so how this migration activity is going to happen guys for that we are having a topic called lsmw that is also going to be covered in details in upcoming session not very so this lsmw that is called legacy system migration workbench guys so with the help of lsmw what is happening guys data migration is going to happen so what is this cutover activity guys cutover activity is nothing but data migration activity here there are lots of people who is going to be confused if somebody is going to ask what do you mean by cutover activity lots of people they don't know so cutover activity is nothing but 
you can say it's a data migration activity where the data is going to be migrated from from what from where from tally to sap no you can't say tally instead of tally it could be any other erp also right so this is called legacy system this is called legacy system so you have to say legacy system to sap system okay whatever activity is nothing but a data migration data migration activity and in this activity what is happening guys data is going to be migrated from legacy system to sap system okay or it is data upload activity migration or upload both are same guys so here whatever activity is data migration activity where the data is going to be migrated from legacy system to sap system now so what is happening first of all user acceptance test this is done okay then the next one is whatever activity that we have to perform data migration activity is supposed to be performed and then what next guys end user training of course training is also required right whoever the end user is there uh, they are pretty much habituated of a different erp it could be tally it could be quickbook it could be other erp they don't know anything about sap so we have to train them now training doesn't mean i said like in finance department 200 people are there are you going to train all these 200 people i think it is not possible guys because 200 means see it's it just like the kind, kind of classroom training it's not going to be successful why because every time people will keep on raising their queries what do you mean by this field what do you mean by that field you just explain these things that is the law so here generally what happens for trainings and all generally we are going to invite four team member we'll invite core team member and we'll say that you just do one thing you along with you you can invite four or five other person also members also from your team so you just decide who these all five or six people are there so he is going to invite five six people senior people from their team and we are going to train those five or six people okay we are going to train those five or six people training doesn't mean that we are going to teach them all the configuration part guys configurations this is your activity right only end user activities are going to be in the sense like what is this end user activities if you know it's okay if you don't know then don't worry why because lots of end user activities we are going to perform whatever the testing part is there guys this is called end user activity end user activity means end user activity means let's suppose i'll tell you here so i have done the configurations for account payable okay i've done lots of configurations to set up account payable process now what is the end user activity in account payable process case posting of invoices account payable team what is happening guys they will post the invoices they will post the credit memo they will post the payment we are these all are the transactions which is taking place guys this transaction must be recorded into sap this is called transaction posting so this posting of invoices posting of credit memo posting of payment these all are end user activities configuration is your activity because you are a consultant and configuration is one time activity guys it's not like every time it is going to be so these things you guys will come to know in details in upcoming sessions don't worry so what is happening here guys so we are going to train core team member along with that we can say that okay you can invite few more person along with you so we are going to train those people only and then it's their responsibility to train their entire team member these five people are going to train their remaining okay so any other training is going to happen then preparations of training manual of course whatever training we have given for that you have to prepare a manual also training manual also that is called SOP. you can say standard operating procedure uh, most of you might be knowing right so in that we are going to specify the steps right so here in my uh, what you say upcoming sessions whatever configurations i'm going to do for these every configurations i have prepared a configuration document and in that itself testing part is also there okay so in the same way it is going to be prepared and handed over to the client so here end user in the sense preparation of training manual so that you need to prepare and you have to hand it over hand it over to the client 
and then configuration document. Configuration means whatever the configurations we have done. For that also, you have to prepare a document and you have to hand it over to the client. Okay. This is also uh, because whatever configurations we have done, guys, that we have done for Tata Motor. So, of course, they will demand these configuration documents also. Why? Because uh, they are not the expert of SAP. Now, let's suppose IBM, and IBM has done this, uh, this entire configuration. IBM has done this entire implementation, right? What configurations IBM consultant has done that these people only know? Tata Motor means they don't know. Now, let's suppose after some time, the uh, implementation is done. And IBM is saying that we can provide you only one month support because whatever amount was paid by Tata Motor is less only, right? So IBM has quoted less amount. So in that they're saying that free of cost support will be one month or two months. So after that, what will happen after two months? IBM is not going to support them. Then Tata Motor needs support because a continuous support is required, guys. In that case, let's suppose they're going to again discuss with Infosys, Wipro, or else IBM also will be there in the race. They will again for that support project means separate amount is going to be charged and that to foreign and wise. Okay, so let's suppose this time the bidding was won by TCS. So TCS people, it means support project is moved to TCS. So what will happen, guys? How TCS consultant will come to know what we have configured? Uh, lots of things will be there. So now what is happening? If this configuration document is there, then this is going to be very helpful for those people. They will come to know okay, these are the process which we have configured here, and this is how we have mapped all those things. So configuration document, that is why you guys initially itself client will say that these all documents, whatever documents are going to be prepared, this is the asset of Tata Motor. So we must have to hand over these all documents once the project is going to be at the end of the project, we must have to hand over these all documents. So even configuration document also, you need to prepare and you need to hand it over to the client. What is this configuration document guys? So as I told you, Whenever like multiple configurations I'm going to I have done here in the sense multiple configurations uh, I have done and for every configurations guys I have prepared a document that is configuration document so you can see you can see the configuration document is already available so this configuration document is also going to be handed over to the client so in final preparations what is happening guys UAT user acceptance test then data migration, cutover activity is nothing but data migration activity, end user training, preparation of training manual, and then preparation of configuration document. And we have to hand, hand over this configuration document to the client. Then what next, guys? The next one is go live and support. Here we have, we are not going to do anything, guys. Now, finally, after visual activity, there will be a particular date. From that particular date onwards, SAP is going to be live. Look at here. Go live means system is ready to record the live transaction. System is ready to record the live transaction. Okay. So now from there onwards, on go live date, what is happening? Users, they will, whatever the existing, like whatever the legacy system is there, that is going to be history. Now, from that particular date onwards, Go live data onwards, they will use SAP only. Okay, so look at here. Go live means system is ready to record the live transactions. All the transactions, whichever was being posted in Tally, right now, all the transactions are going to be posted into SAP system itself. So this is what is happening in Go live, guys. And then what will happen? And after Go, go live, again, support because. As I told you, support is a continuous process. Okay, support is a continuous process where the client is like they must require. Without consultant, without the support of consultant, it's impossible for uh, you know employee of Tata Motor to proceed further. Why? Because every time they have some requirements, they will be facing some issues. There are some challenges. Who is going to resolve these queries? These issues, right? Of course, it's consultant. So of course, they require support and so after go live what is happening automatically the project is going to be converted into support implementation is finished and then support is started support is a continuous process okay they need 
whether they are going to take this support like uh, from a different organizations or is something what happens guys companies are pretty clever they will hire their own team they will hire a team of 20 consultants tata motors because they know that they are using sap so instead of paying huge amount to the different it companies and all they are going to hire a team and they keep but in each and every cases what is happening guys hiring whom they are going to have they are going to hire consultants so for you people for us job will be there right they are going to hire a team of 20 people so there is a requirement of consultants right so now so this is all about the project phase guys the entire implementation project is segregated in five phases what activities are going to happen in all these five phases that i have explained here in details so that's all in this session guys